Boy, it's always something anymore, isn't it? Tornado damage to the medicine plant, plant will probably create long-term shortages on some drugs hospitals need. I just happened to catch this today. This is uh, July 20th. Wow. The fallout from the Pfeiffer factory being damaged by a tornado could put more pressure on already strained drug supplies in the U.S. hospitals. Touchdown near uh, Rocky Mount, North Carolina, ripped the roof off the factory that makes nearly 25% of the Pfeiffer's sterile injectable medicines used in U.S. hospitals. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, 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 wow. It could lead to long-term shortages by Pfeiffer shifts production to other locations or rebuilds. Anyone who is aware of this event is basically holding their breath, hoping for the best and waiting for good news. Mm. This ain't good, people. Uh, we've already had, uh, what, all those uh, food processing plants burned down. We have a shortage of toilet paper. We have an ammo shortage. We have reloading component shortages, gas shortages, all kinds of shortages. What we have is a shortage of common sense in the White House. This Joe Biden and his handlers, you know, Barack Obama, they should have been deposed long time ago. They're illegitimate. They shouldn't be in there. That's the story for today. And I'm sticking to it. Biden regime has done more harm to this country other than Obama's regime than any other presidents in our entire history. Mark my word. I want you to, to, to know about the drug problem here. It's going to get there's going to be more shortages. I mean, there's going to, you have to have shortages. Until things are rebuilt, put back together. Um, yeah. Keep your eyes open, people.